Hey Kyle, uh, it's me again. Today is Sunday, July 8th. Um, it's about 8.30 a.m. and I'm hiking a mountain called Mount Pisgah. Um, it's in Willoughby State Forest. So um, the other day I did Mount, or Wheeler Mountain, which is kind of like on the other side of Lake Willoughby, on the far side. Um, and now I'm doing Pisco, which is on the close side. And by close, I mean closer to Northwoods, um, which I think would be on more like the north side of the lake today. Um, did this hike last year. It's a pretty popular one. As you can see, it's 8.30 and the parking lot is already full. Can't really see that, but um, yeah, did it last year. Going up the same south trail. I remember it being really steep. Or it started out pretty flat and then it got really steep. Maybe I was just really out of shape. But I don't know. Um, I Let's see. What mishap happens today? I brought this. It's like chicken salad but with, it's with garbanzo beans. I made for lunch. Put it in my backpack. I didn't close the lid all the way. And then mayonnaise leaked all over my backpack. Which has happened, it's the first time it's happened in Vermont, but it's happened a surprising amount of times this year. I really trust the integrity of Tupperware and I really shouldn't. And I don't know why I haven't learned that yet. But anyway, just clean that up. Um, so now I'm hiking. The first part starts out with this kind of boardwalk over the swamp area. And I feel like this is, well this doesn't look new, but I don't remember this. I remember there being more bog bridges. They might be coming up. Northwoods also worked on this trail some time ago. I don't know if it was this side or I think there are three trails total. But they worked on it at one point. Right, maybe it wasn't bog bridges. Maybe it's just this boardwalk. Whoa. How clear the water is. I don't know if you can see that. You can see all the way down into it. Um, so I don't know if you recognize this plant. I don't know if you can really see it. Um, but uh, recognize this plant, I guess, from your time in Washington. In Washington, we call, we have uh, a plant that looks very similar to this called the Western Red Cedar. And the bark's kind of red and stringy. Um, but the needles are like really scaly like this. And so this one is the northern white cedar, which is pretty much it's very similar. The bark's a little bit different. The needles look, to me, they look almost identical. Probably not, but... Um, cedar... It's more widely used, I think, in the Pacific Northwest than here. But pretty cool to have the same plants the same types of plants in different places. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably turn this off and show you some more exciting things when that happens. Hey Kyle, made it to the summit. Woo! It was, it wasn't as bad as I remember. Look at that. Uh, can't really read it, 2751 feet. Um, it wasn't as bad as I remember it. There are definitely some steep sections, but a lot of it was actually pretty flat or like pretty gradual. So probably better that I remembered it harder than it was. <laughs> There's not much of a view from the summit, as you can see. Um, but there are some lookouts. So we'll go down that way and see. I don't know what time it is now. I'm going to look at that in a moment. See how fast I came up. I felt kind of slow in some sections, but I think overall I was going at a pretty good clip. It's had to go down the trails a ways, but whoa, to get to these overlooks. Um, wow, it's so pretty. I don't think this video does it justice. Um, this looks right down there. It's kind of sketchy, but um, this is Lake Willoughby. So kind of like on the other video, Wheeler, I'm trying to think, 
Wheeler is somewhere out that way. That way. I don't know. But it's on the other side of the lake. So the mountain I was on um, earlier this week was on the other side of the lake. Um, I'm pretty sure this mountain right here is Mount Hoar, um, where my crew did a bunch of work last year, two weeks of work. Um, that one's probably the trail that I'm most proud of. Um, just the things that we did on it. It, looks, it looked really good, at least at the end of last year. Um, so hopefully I'll get over that way soon. Um, yeah, it's just really pretty. <laughs> and there's, I don't know if you can see, well, you can't really see, I don't think, from this video. But over this way, there's another lookout. There's a bunch of people on it. Some boats on the water. Really pretty. Okay, so I walked all the way to the top, spent some time up there, wrote a letter to my friend Alyssa, and then I passed this point on the way down, but there were people at it, so I was waiting until I came down. Um, but it is super pretty. Um, so yeah, this is Lake, Lake Willoughby, kind of the other end of it, the perspective that you couldn't see from the other lookout. And yeah, I'm like 100% sure that this is Mount Hoare. It's the mountain we were looking at before. And there's a spot, like, there's cliffs, and I don't think you can see it, but there's kind of like an outlook up here. Um, and we would eat lunch there pretty much every day that we worked on it over the, the two weeks last summer. So we got to see this beautiful lake every day, which was nice. And then, I don't know if you, you can really see from this video, but the, it's kind of a beach over here and the water is so clear. It's amazing. So I'm just hiking down. And then I'm going to try to get into Island Pond. They, today at noon, they have this uh, cardboard boat race. So the details are really unclear. It's just, uh, I saw it on a Facebook event. Um, but it sounded like it's a contest and you just make a boat out of cardboard and you can't use any other materials. Um, so I'm really excited to see how that turns out. Uh, so hopefully I'll have enough space to film that. So we're at the cardboard boat races. Look at all these competitors. And so I guess there's a kids race, an adult. And they're racing out.
there you have it. Island Pond Boat Race 2018. Cardboard Boat Race.